What's up guys, this is Rani, welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone and today's topic will be how to use file callback handler with LangChain. Okay, so basically uh, in the tutorial 14 or 15 we have seen that callback handler are kind of very useful when you want to actually keep an eye on uh, on the usage like how many tokens are used, what type of tokens are used and what is the total cost of a single API call. Uh, I mean uh, the LLM API call because um, LangChain is kind of an external utilities which is internally use the open AI API to do all the intelligent stuff right so whenever you are going to do some sort of operation or agent execution it is uh, uh, at the back end it is actually um, back and forth calling the API right and every API is actually going to um, use some sort of cost or maybe API is actually going to incur some sort of cost and that cost is actually getting calculated based of the token that is we know right so with a simple callback handler we can actually keep a track of all those things and if you want to actually uh, um, if you want to actually write back something as a log file into a file uh, as a log into a log file then basically you have to use this file callback handler so file callback handler is actually going to be uh, like use to send a log message or write a log message to a log file right so uses of file callback handler so basically this tutorial shows how to print logs to a file it shows how to use file callback handler that is already you know right and um, uh, okay so it shows the use of file callback handler which does the same thing of the std out callback handler right and but instead of writes to the uh, output file it also uses log group library to log other outputs that are not captured by the handler so basically std call uh, out handler is actually not useful if you want to actually log something extra you have to actually use this module so internally file callback handler is actually using this library so if your code is actually going to throw some error that this module is not found or something like that then probably you have to install that using pip installer okay so without wasting much time let me start writing the code it is going to be a very fast forward tutorial okay so main dot py right now i'll be going to start writing down the code okay okay so basically uh, it should be from okay so i think there's a problem in the rename it should be okay so it should be from uh, langchain dot callbacks to import file callback handler okay then from Langchain dot chat models import chat open AI right so like this and then uh, what else then we'll be going to actually do from line chain dot agents import agent type initialize agent and then load tools okay now uh, let's say we'll be going to actually use a google search api so uh, import os we need that and also we're going to use from log okay i think this module is not available so you need to install this module from the log group uh, import logger so this is not available so what i'll do i'll be going to install this module so it should be pip 3 install okay okay let's see okay okay it's done so hopefully this will work let's execute this thing yeah it is saying that there is no such module available uh, i don't know I 
mm, install this thing here let me pip3 install log okay let's see the last time the installation did not work actually okay okay so it's working now it's working so let's see they should not give any error okay there is no such error let's do a clear okay everything is fine now first thing we'll be going to set up the uh, google search api key right so it should be os because we'll be going to use uh, some search okay okay so it should be search api pi underscore key right and let me open this thing so okay so i'm just repeating myself again here the security is not the important part of this tutorial just the functionalities and the use case is important so whenever you are going to do something in the production you should not actually load the api key like this so you have to do it from the uh, something hidden like from the environment variable os label or maybe you can do it from the config file okay okay so now we'll be going to load our tools okay. tools equals to load tools basically so in the load tools we'll be going to use some some like so basically i'll be going to uh, do some google search okay so maybe um, crp serp api that's it and okay i need to actually insert the llm actually right llm equals to chat open ai and this is going to be temperature is actually going to be zero and let's say model equals to gpt hyphen four okay like this okay now what will happen here uh, okay like this okay now what are we going to do the actual operation okay so maybe i can just write log file equals to output dot txt i just create a variable okay like this now first thing i'll be going to establish a handler with a variable and it is going to be oh sorry file callback handler and inside that i'll be just going to put the log file okay like this okay so next thing i have to add this file in the logger this logger this logger okay so this logger dot add and we'll be going to add this thing in the log file so first thing i have to just uh, mention the file name so maybe log file then it is colorized or not so definitely it will be colorized so maybe I can just write true and the last thing we have to mention uh, the this one and this is going to be also true okay okay so uh, handler created log file is set up like in the log file it is going to add the log and the next thing is actually in the agent we'll be going to embed this log, uh, handler agent is actually going to be initialize agent initialize agent so first thing will be tools right so tools then llm right then um, agent equals to agent type uh, agent type and after that we'll be going to use a zero uh, zero short react description okay okay so this one then let's say handler 
equals to handle f because we'll be going to handle this thing okay so it will be inside a list and handler okay then verbose is going to be true okay all done then what will happen we'll be going to actually logger dot info and in the info i'll be just going to put this agent okay and the spelling is actually wrong like this okay so i think uh, all are fine there should not be any error let me just actually uh, do this thing like this okay just separate everything like this you'll understand here the import here we are just setting something okay so maybe this is also part of the setting okay like something and the actual code is actually happening here okay okay so let's execute so one file will be created with the name of output.txt inside that some information will be written right and uh, next thing is actually we'll be going to run the agent so basically uh, mm, just hold on i have to actually result this is a mistake so agent dot run and i can just write who is the current prime minister minister of india right it is going to do some google search okay and here it will be not agent it will be result i just did a mistake okay so let's execute okay so it's getting executed and it will tell uh, what is what actually it is doing serp api which contains it uh, please add in serp api so i just did a mistake uh, yeah the p actually missing here because of that all these things are coming i always do this mistake sorry for that let's clear and let's execute again okay let's see Okay, so if you see, uh, the uh, answer is Narendra Modi, and it is actually giving this thing here. And basically, if I open this file, it is also going to give you the same thing. Okay, and with some color, colorized information. Okay, so let's try to actually do something else as well. Who is the Prime Minister of, let's say, uh, let's say Australia? Okay, so let's see. yeah it's doing it okay so okay, it's done so let's open this file you see it's keep on logging uh, here right so all the timestamps are there right everything is there right okay so that's it this is very important like when you are going to work in some company uh, and you want to actually uh, you want to actually build a enterprise grade application so all enterprise grade applications are actually having some sort of logging features are available yeah so just because you know this file back called handler now you will be completely now know how to um, do this sort of things because um, i believe uh, this is not the end of the like thing because uh, this tutorial is only going to help you to actually develop some sort of intuition towards file callback handler how to use it what is it how to actually log something in the file right but after watching this video if you actually practice doing some coding and all you will actually get some sort of like um, idea behind it and based on that idea you can actually start thinking about different use case and after that my recommendation is actually try to tackle those use case if you are not able to solve it you can always come back to me i'll help you but try to write down some code actually and try to think and uh, think analyze and visualize those use cases and then try to solve those problem in that way you will actually become an expert okay okay enough of actually uh, talking guys so before i conclude this video i just want to know how you guys are feeling with this tutorial how you guys are finding the 
concepts behind this just let me know have some sort of feedback good or bad doesn't matter but it has to be an honest feedback and last but not least guys please try to subscribe our channel hit the like button if you really enjoying the video because this is the 16th tutorial before that you already placed a uh, 15th more tutorial so if somebody is also new to this channel for them also it is obviously recommended recommendation that uh, try to go back and start finding the playlist from our channel and try to start watching from the beginning definitely this 15 or 16 tutorials are going to help you to um, like enhance your knowledge in terms of like LLM, Langchain or OpenAI integration. Okay. So that's it. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next video. Till then take care. Goodbye and have a nice day.